Hello everyone and welcome back to Passion Sundays, the best way to end the week and start another. Our guest today is a leadership expert and he's the best-selling author of self-leadership, Andrew Bryant. Andrew, thank you very much for being with us today. My pleasure, Mustafa. I love your take about self-leadership because that's from the inside in rather outside in. Absolutely. So let's start though with passion. What does passion mean to you first? Well, passion for me, of course, is the drive to, to get what we have inside onto the outside. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, you know the origin of the word passion is that what drives us is that frustration that we, we need to change something. The world needs to be better or you need to touch people's lives. If you don't have that tension between where you are and what you think the possibility is, I don't think the passion is there. The passion is, I see a possibility for change. I want to make that change. I'm going to be part of that change. Beautiful. So what differentiates a leader from a passionate leader? It's a great question. I think, I think to be an effective leader, you must have a passion. So I'm, I'm not sure there is a distinction between. I think you could be a leader by title, um, but a passionate leader is somebody who's become intentional. They said, I'm leading because I have a cause. Uh, I'm leading because I see further than the people that, that need to follow. If we know the path, we don't need a leader. We just go ourselves. Uh, if we're controlling people along the path, we need a manager. We need a leader because they can see further or they've traveled that path before and they want to take others on that journey. Mm -hmm. um, so if somebody's taking you on a journey and they have no reason to go to the end, no passion. If that leader says, I know where you could go. I know you could be better than you are. I know that we as an organization could do so much more with our company, then I think you're going to get a passionate leader. I love that. So definitely one of the things that would make a passionate leader, in my opinion, is that they start from the inside. And this is purely your area of expertise, self-leadership. Sure. So explain to me more. Well, the, the definition that myself and my co-author from the 2012 self-leadership book, Dr. Anna Kazan, we, we articulated self-leadership as the practice of intentionally influencing your thinking, feeling, and actions towards your objectives. So it's, it's the it's intentional influence of self first. Mm -hmm. Now, when we're intentional about our influence, we become impactful because when we're intentional, we attract. When we're influential, we attract people and therefore then we get the impact. Mm -hmm. And of course, the world measures the impact that we do. Mm -hmm. The inner game of self-leadership is three S's. Self-awareness, I know who I am, I know my strengths, my weaknesses, my areas for development. My self-confidence, I know my skills, my strengths and self-efficacy, my belief that I can overcome challenges, uh, take the feedback, adjust, and do it again. So the self-efficacy is not I can do it, it's I can learn how to do it. I love that, and I love the intentional part because a lot of people are what I call an accidental hero. They, they might have found themselves in a position, they got somewhere, but they never last and they start dragging themselves out. So how does a leader, and everybody is a leader in life, find passion when times are tough? Because it's easy to lead when things are going well because there's momentum driving you, but it's when, when the sea is getting up and down that you find if you know what you're doing. Well, paradoxically, I think actually it's easier. I never wish adversity upon anybody, but neither do I wish that you don't have adversity mm. because often it's when life throws us a curveball, when we've lost everything, lost a job, lost a business, lost a, somebody we love, that everything gets stripped away and then we get to really examine ourselves. Now, some people go to pieces and some people find their core and go, okay, all that other stuff didn't really matter. This is what's really important to me. That's happened to me at least twice in my life where one, financially, I was stripped of everything. I'd gone from very wealthy to absolutely nothing. Uh, and one, um, in relationship where uh, everything was taken away from me. And in both those scenarios, after the initial shock and sucking your thumb and wanting to crawl under the covers and hide in a cave, you reach deep and go, I have a reason to live and therefore I have to work on myself to come out of this. And each time I came back, I came back stronger, more intentional and able to help more people. I like that, I like that. And so if you would summarize the whole experience of passionate self-leadership in one advice to people, what would you tell them to do? I think, if, if we realize, I mean, I, th I, would, go to, I would go to the cemetery. I would, I, I, I would realize that we only have a short time on this planet. If you want to be passionate, we're going to be dust 
We're going to be worm food so soon. What are you going to be remembered for? What, what, are, your, what are your grandchildren going to talk about you? Have something. Because if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for everything. I think money, health, it's all going to go. But if you made a difference in other people's lives, if you created something that, that changes people's lives, if you contributed to an organization or team, if you educated people, then your life means something. And I think when you look back at the end, you will regret nothing. And my biggest fear would be to get to the end of my life and go, I didn't do enough. And that's the pain that drives my passion to do more. I love that. Do more, and there's a lot of learnings here. I hope everybody will apply after this. Andrew, thank you very much. This has been awesome. My pleasure. I appreciate it. Passion. passion. What do you think? I hope you found this as useful and as exciting as I did. If so, please leave your comments on the blog below and do share it with somebody who will find it useful. And if you'd like more tools, tips, techniques, and exclusive interviews that I only share on my website, then go to mustafa.com. And until next episode, live passionately. Mm -hmm.